So you have a Fanatec wheel but your LEDs don't work in a Seracosa. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. As you can see mine don't work. I'm revving it. I shift. The wheel works but the LEDs don't work. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it uh, using a few steps. The last one being the one that's probably gone. The is what fixed mine. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is open Content Manager. If you don't have Content Manager and you're trying to play. A Seracosa, you need Content Manager. Then you're gonna go up to Settings. And you're gonna go to Custom Shaders Patch. And then scroll down to where it says Logitech. And you wanna make sure this extension is active. So this will also work if you have like a Logitech wheel or any other wheel that's not fun attack, most likely it's gonna work. And then the second place you wanna go is a Seracosa, click it. And then you wanna go down here to where it says fun attack. Make sure you have enable and NDs. That right there, make sure it's ticked. Enable LEDs. Once you do that, check if it works. If it doesn't work, you can go to step number two. Step number two is there is an app you're gonna wanna get. And all you have to do is open up your browser. And this is what you're gonna type. Right here. Final ads. And you're gonna go to the download link. And this is what it's gonna look like. Just download the latest version. So downloads and download the latest version. And it should download. Try downloads, open it up. Allow. It's only giving me this message because I already have it installed. So I'm gonna press cancel because I already have it installed. Now what I'm gonna do real quick is set it up. Find the LEDs. Boom. There we go. Once you install it, this is the screen that's gonna come up. And this is the, what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to where it says help, set up games automatically. And when you're done with this, you're gonna press no, but for now, press yes. You're gonna navigate to where it says this PC basically you want to find your game so go to your hard drive programs 86 I have a set of calls installed from Steam and basically just go to Steam Steam apps common this is where I have my games I have American Truck Simulator and a set of cursor. So you just gonna press OK. Boom. It's gonna set up American Truck Simulator. Give it a second. Comes back a set of cursor. Yes. And then when it comes to this screen again, just press no because you're done. You didn't find anything wrong. So if you, uh, I'm gonna press no. If you have games like hidden somewhere else, you can press yes and it will basically set your whole computer. So no.
no again all right now this should work you can mess with the settings but i just leave it as it is it's one app the other app you need is your fanatec drivers if you have a fanatec wheel you should already have your fanatec drivers so all you're gonna do is come up to the search such a fanatec drivers driver download and what that will give you is basically this app called Fanatec Control Panel. You need this app if you have a Fanatec wheel. Here's where you're gonna be able to adjust all your settings and everything. And what you're gonna do is come to steering wheel. This is the steering wheel. It shows you the exact steering wheel you got. And normally this is off. And when that is off, Come over here and do force feedback test. Boom, test the wheel. The seven thingy, test those LEDs. I can't test this little white line, but as soon as I turn this on, boom, I got the white line too. So at this point, you can check and see if it's fixed. If it's fixed, you're good, but most likely, which is what happened for me, it wasn't. So what you're gonna want to do is the third step. So with your wheel, you got several modes. You got red, which means PC mode. And it tells you right there, PC mode. If I come back over here, I press it again. Green, even the Xbox light turns up, it tells you it's in Xbox mode. Then if I press it one more time, yellow means compatibility mode. You see right there? Basically, this is the mode you want it to run in if you're playing a Cero Corsa. And the LEDs will work. This mode basically fixed mine. But the problem is, when I would take mine to compatibility mode, it wouldn't work. Yeah, it wouldn't work. The software wouldn't even detect that it's in compatibility mode and it will basically give me this screen right here. Let me unplug it and you'll see the screen it gave me. That was the, that was the screen I was getting. So, I'm gonna plug it back in real quick and then show you how to fix that. Plug the button in PC mode, Xbox mode, compatibility mode. So if this isn't coming up, I'm gonna show you how to bring it up. What you wanna do is go to your search. And you're gonna search a device manager. Now, this is basically the screen you're gonna get. First thing I need you to do, press view, devices by container. And right here you can see your Fanatec wheel and what it will be showing is your current mode. So the next thing you're gonna do is go back to view and press show hidden devices. So now you see three things from Fanatec. There's the one we were seeing, the controller Fanatec, this little box Fanatec, and the Fanatec club spot wheelbase. So I'm gonna explain what these are. I'm gonna drop them real quick. This club spot wheelbase, that's your compatibility mode. This is the mode you're trying to make work. This one right here, the wheel, it says Xbox right there. That means it's your Xbox mode. And then this is the wheel right there. That's our current mode. You see red? That means that's our current mode right there. Alright. So if you notice our current mode down here, this is not grayed out. But this and this are grayed out, meaning 
we are currently on this one. If I press the button once, which goes to Xbox, just turn the green. But now you can see the Xbox one is no longer grayed out. This is grayed out and that is grayed out. Press it one more time. Boom. Compatibility mode, not grayed out. This is grayed out, that is grayed out. I am gonna need you to put it in red, PC mode. Okay, once you're in PC mode, the next thing you're gonna do is unplug your wheel. Don't turn it off, don't unplug the power, just unplug the data cable from your wheel to the computer. Unplug that real quick. Leave it, off, leave it unplugged. And what you're gonna do now is delete all, all of this, this mode, that mode, and this mode. You're gonna want to delete all of them. And you can't just come here and there's no delete button. You can't delete the whole thing at once. You gotta go to this individual little boxes, right click, uninstall. That one, right click, uninstall. So I'm gonna do it with you. Um, unplug it, uninstall. Yep. Boom. 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 That's the first one. And you're going to do it for the other two. So real quick. Boom. Boom. Just got to keep doing it until you get it. And when you're done and installing all of this, you should be left with nothing. As you can see, nothing. At this point, do not reconnect your wheel. Leave it in PC mode, but don't reconnect it. I recommend restarting your computer, just to be safe, but I believe you don't have to. I did it, when I did it, I restarted my computer so now what you're gonna do is before you reconnect make sure you are on red that's red right there pc mode make sure you're on red and then reconnect it all right i just reconnected and And this is what you're gonna do now. I'm gonna open the Fanatec controller panel. And it comes up over there, PC mode. I'm gonna go back to device manager. View. By container. View. Show hidden. As you can see, it installed the Fanatec drivers. This is the normal PC mode. See right there, it says PC mode, that's the normal PC mode. You're gonna press it once and wait 60 seconds. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna install the drivers. It's not installing the drivers from the app, it's installing the drivers from your wheel itself. So the drivers are in here. And this is what's installing them. And the reason it was messed up, I believe, is because when you first did connected it, you probably pressed this button and like switched through the modes pretty fast. You didn't give it time to install correctly. Boom, Xbox mode is in, good. Press it one more time and wait 60 seconds. 
See, it's asking, do I basically do you want the wheel to in, do its thing? And as you can see, right there, it installed it. You see, it prompted me. If you just flipped through the switch many times when you did it at first, you will get the prompt. You wouldn't install the drivers, and now the drivers are installed. Now compatibility mode will work. I say will because it worked for me. After struggling and struggling and struggling, I'm open and of course, just to show you. So you can see right there, yellow compatibility. Uh, my Steam is gonna start up because. I had just restarted the computer. But if I press go, uh, my Steam gotta start up real quick. All right, there we go. Should be able to go now. Go. Show you the wheel. Right there, you see that? You see that? It says neutral. Uh, let's load into the game. Turn it up a little bit. Uh, sound is not connected, but you can see that it's working. Ooh. Yeah, it's showing the gears. And as you drive, it will show the speed that boom right there first gear let's go telling me to shift but you see what's happening it's working if this didn't fix your problem or fix your cup problem leave a comment if I miss something and thank you